Hey guys, Chris Fix here. Today we're going to change out the tie rod ends, both the outside and the inside tie rod ends. Very important for your steering and for your toe alignment. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So there's your tie rod. You can see I can move this with my hand. It's very old, 300,000 miles will do that to it. It's amazing they made it that far. So here are all the tools you're going to use for this job. You need a couple of wrenches, screwdrivers, flathead screwdrivers, some Loctite thread glue, a torque wrench, a breaker bar, hammer, a rubber mallet, needle nose pliers, and a grease gun, and the new tie rod inside and outside. You will also need an inner tie rod tool, which is this right here. You could rent this for free at AutoZone or Pet Boys or whatever the main parts stores you use are. So what you're going to do is just take your needle nose pliers and open up the cotter pin so that's straight. And once that cutter pin's straight, grab the other side and start pulling it out. There we go. One cutter pin pulled out. Now you can put a 19 millimeter or three quarter ratchet or wrench on this. Nice long breaker bar will help. And once you break it loose, use your ratchet and just take the castle nut off. Now there's a tool that you could use that goes in here and pries this up. What I'm going to do is going to take this castle nut, I'm going to flip it over, so screw it in this way. Good. Now I'm going to take a hammer. I'll use a rubber mallet just to be safe. I'll pop it up. There we go. Tie rod end is out. So now this is the interesting part. There's a nut here that they use for your alignment because this affects your alignment. What you want to do is put your tie rod end in and now we're going to unscrew this nut. Just want to break that loose like that. Now we're going to take this out and you see this spins freely from the bottom here. So that's, that's the bottom that's pointing down. You want to take this and you want to spin it. So it's one, two, and you want to count how many spins you go. Three, four, five, six, 19. So 20 spins. It took me 20 spins to get this off. And when you put the new one on, you're going to count 20 spins. And the reason why is so that your alignment isn't completely out of alignment. You're still going to have to get the car aligned when you change this. But at least your alignment won't be so bad that it's dangerous to drive. So you can see this moves around very easily. It has a little bit of play inside and outside. So the inner tie rod end also needs to be changed. But we're going to do that already anyway. And you can see, so the tie rod end works by steering the car. When you turn the steering wheel, it turns this. Which allows the car wheel to turn. So you can see our tie rod goes all the way up into here and now there's a boot here and you want to use the pliers to get this off and there's also a another one of these except you have to break it with a screwdriver and I'll show you that now but that's all the way in the back so for this one you just get your you use the same needle nose as before squeeze it and pull it out all this is is a little clamp to keep the boot on. Now a little trick here is to use a screwdriver, a flathead, and just bend this up a little bit. Not too much, because we're reusing the boots. You just want to get it under here and then spray some silicone or some type of grease to make it slide off easier. So now we just go in here, flathead screwdriver, carefully without breaking the boot. Just like that. You see how the boot's up? Get your WD-40 or whatever, some type of grease or silicone, that's what I'm using, and just spray it in there. And that'll make getting the boot off a lot easier, because surprisingly, the boot's on there pretty good. The next thing we're going to do, you see that clip right down there? There's a clip right there, and what you're going to do is you're going to push the screwdriver in, and just turn the screwdriver, and that clip will open up. It's hard to see, but uh, I think you'll get the idea when I do it. So just get your screwdriver in there, turn. So you can see it opened up and now we can take the boot off. Ok. 
Okay, undo this bolt here so we can get the whole boot off. Get the bolt off, slide off your clamp. Now take your bellows boot off. Good. So we're just going to want to quickly inspect this, make sure there's no cracks. Looks good. So when we're installing it, there's this right here that's going to slide over. There was a tube in there that you saw. It's going to slide over that tube. That tube connects to the other side. It allows for venting. So you can see the tube on the top right, and then you can see the inside tie rod right there with its ball joint that is very loose. So now we're going to take that out. So here's the actual tie rod, the inside tie rod. And I just want to show you what's going to happen so that you completely understand this. So here's your adapter. Your adapter is going to fit on here, just like that. See? So then when you turn that tool, it grabs this and turns it. Otherwise, it'll be hard to get a wrench on here. You can do it. You just have to see if you have access. Um, the other thing to remember is that there's sometimes a pin in this. So you have to take that pin out. So that's what I'm going to go check for right now. So you can see on this tie rod, inside tie rod end, there's a pin right here. And this has to come off. So you take a flathead screwdriver, you get underneath it, and you pry it out. So you can see I'm just prying this up. I'm able to get the screwdriver under there. If you can't get your screwdriver under here that easy, you could use a hammer in the screwdriver and just get it to indent a little bit. So you can see, I'm almost ready to just knock this thing out. There you go. Popped it right out. So now you can unscrew this. Just like I showed you, your adapter piece goes right on top like that. Take your long rod. Slide it in, and then you put your ratchet on there. And once you break it loose like that, this thing should come right out. If it's not coming out easily, remember there's that pin there. Beautiful. So here are the two tie rods. Next thing you're going to do is make sure that they're the same size. The new one's a little bit longer, so that's going to affect our toe, but we're getting it aligned anyway, so it doesn't matter. Now you can see I can move this really easily. That's the old one. Look, a finger could move it around. The new one. I can't even move it. It'll have to be on the car for me to move it. I'm going to get some blue thread sealer. This is the removable type. And I'm just going to put it all inside here. Just like so. Now let's install the, the new tie rod. I never took our old clamp out. That clamp that you have to break. Take that out. Here's our pin. You can see it's not really reusable. take our new tie rod and just tighten it by hand once you can't tighten it by hand anymore get your tool put it on top slide that on so then get your torque wrench on my vehicle it says 66 to 74 foot pounds of torque I'm gonna torque it to 70 Once you torque it, you're set. So I'm under the car and you can see where the hole is for the pin. That's where you're going to push your pin in. I put a screwdriver head at the end of it, like this. First I pushed it, because I was able to push it most of the way. And then I used the hammer to just lightly tap it in. And now it's all the way in. So remember before I was talking about the clip that is a sacrificial clip that holds on the boot. That you, you put your screwdriver in here and you twist it and it opens it up. Well, it's only a one time use clip. so. Either you get a new one, which they're hard to find, but um, one temporary solution is to use zip ties. They actually, I, I went to go get a kit to see if it comes with it, and uh, for the new Bell's boot, and uh, it came with zip ties. So, although it sounds kind of cheap and everything, the thing doesn't really move very much, so it's okay to use a zip tie. Um, it's not a permanent solution, like this isn't going to break off a zip tie, I'll eventually 
get old and, and brittle, but until you could find one of these zip ties and okay, route to go, and that's what I'm gonna do. You could also use the stainless steel version of this that has the, the, um, the nut at the end and you just tighten it down, except they're hard to find that are this narrow, so zip tie will work really nicely in this situation. Now we're gonna put the new boot on Again, remember, you see that at the end of my screwdriver? There's that tube. You wanna make sure that you push this into that tube. So I actually tightened up the zip tie first up on the, uh, the boot. Now I'm gonna slide it in. So now you just tighten it after you push it on. Good. Now we take our clamp, bring it up. Put it on just like that, and we're done with the boot. So here are the new tie rod ends. You can see the new one's nice and sturdy. The old one, you can move really easily. Comes with all the accessories. The screw in the top, a pin, and a nut. So they give you a new nut, but it's kind of small. So I'm gonna use the old one, it's thicker. It has more thread on it, so it'll lock better. So just screw that old nut back on. So it took me 20 spins to get this off. I'm gonna put it on with 20 spins. So once you get it threaded, okay, it's threaded. So we'll start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. 20 spins, face it down. Now we'll tighten our net up here, so we want the nut to push against the, the new tie rod end. So this will keep it from moving. I'm gonna put the grease valve on, so just screw it in by hand. Now I'm gonna use a 5 16 wrench and just tighten it down even more. You don't wanna tighten it too much, just enough, that's good. And now we'll put this into the knuckle. Just line it up, push it through, get your, your new castle nut, start screwing it on. So that's how it should look. So I set the 46, and you tighten until it clicks. Just like that. When it clicks once, you do it again. And then that's tight enough. So then we'll, we'll take our cotter pin and we'll send it through the hole. Good, now you just bend these around the castle nut, like so. Now we're gonna lube this up, so you just put your grease gun fitting on there and pump it with grease. You can see the rubber expanding and once it expands like that, that means you have grease in there and you just finish the job. You just change the inner and outer tie rod ends. Now go get your car aligned. If the video was helpful, thumbs up the video. And if you like how-to videos and this was good, subscribe. I upload how-to videos weekly and it'll help you save some money and fix your own stuff. If you want to see other how-to videos, I'll have links in the description. You can also click any of these videos up on the screen.